Oh, is it true that they paid you a million dollars for the endorsement for Kamala? Not true. Not true, okay. Well, Oprah, it turns out to be true. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom-loving friend. This is where we like to call it the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants and Satan. Shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters because truth is conquers. Now, in light of President Trump winning the election and Kamala losing the election, we're finding out a lot of things. What we're finding out is there's many things money can't buy. One of the things it can't buy is what the will of the people can do. President Trump was willed into the election win by the people. The amount of money he spent was minuscule compared to Kamala. We'll see those statistics shortly. President Trump's all his endorsements, celebrity and otherwise, they all organically rose from we the people. Kamala, on the other hand, did not have the will of we the people on her side, so she was limited in what she could do. But she tried to spend money to do what money can't buy you. She bought celebrity endorsements. She spent four times more than Trump did in his campaign. And with these celebrity endorsements, the fun thing is they didn't work. So a lot of fun stuff is coming out about Kamala's celebrity endorsements, the amount of money she spent on them, as well as her overall campaign spending, which is just hilarious. She spent so much in order to lose. I guess losing is a very expensive business, ladies and gentlemen. So let's take a look at some of the highlights on what celebrities received what amount of money to endorse Kamala. And here you can see a little summary by Insurrection Barbie. $10 million to Beyonce. That's what Beyonce was paid to show up at that rally, if you want to call it that, in Houston, where the crowd was pissed off at Beyonce and Kamala. Why? Because Beyonce talked for five minutes. She didn't perform. The crowd was led to believe Beyonce would be performing. So that is $10 million super well spent. <laughs> So $10 million to Beyonce, $5 million to Megan the Stallion, $2.3 million paid to Lizzo. By the way, these are people who appeared at her rallies or just to endorse her, to a mixture of both. And $1.8 million paid to Eminem. How does it feel to sell your soul there, buddy? Now, in a couple minutes, we'll see how much Trump paid celebrities to endorse him. You'll notice it's very different. But first, top of the hour news is Oprah. Oprah was paid $1 million to effectively endorse and interview Kamala Harris. You might have remembered the interview from, I don't know, a month and a half or so ago. It was absolutely disastrous for Kamala for various reasons. I made a mocking video of it. But nonetheless, it was just Oprah, this manufactured little studio audience. A lot of people on Zoom screens look just fake as hell because it was fake as hell. So Oprah was paid a million dollars to do this interview in support of Kamala. Here's a softball question question. You couldn't answer that any better? That was a softball question. And Kamala has to do that because she doesn't have the will of the people. She just has the machine behind her. The machine is not the will of the people. And all the machine can do is buy what money can buy. The machine cannot buy what the will of the people can do. Million dollars to Oprah just for this, I think it was less than an hour long interview. But now there's some controversy. Uh, apparently some of these celebrities don't like the dirt coming out that they were paid to endorse Kamala because it makes the celebrities look cheap, fake, and purchasable. And the celebrities don't like that because, in fact, they are cheap, fake, and purchasable. And Oprah really didn't like this being realized about her, so she lied, and then her lie was disproven. Take a look. Hey, Oprah, good morning. How are you, darling? You're looking very good. How do you think the election went? Not talking about the election, thank you very much. Oh, is it true that they paid you a million dollars for the endorsement for Kamala? Not true. Not true. With a British accent, Oprah, appreciate that. Not true, okay. I was paid nothing, ever. I was paid nothing, ever. What do you think about all the celebrities with their mass exodus? I'm not talking about do you think? Do you think Prince Harry's gonna lose his visa now that Trump's president? 
Now, Oprah is a trusted celebrity, uh, pictured with P. Diddy and various posts everywhere. But I, for one, trust Oprah because she said it's not true that she was paid a million dollars. Absolutely not true. And uh, then there's such thing as what's called SEC filings. We'll get back to this in just one second. But first, parents, I have an early Christmas gift for you. We've all been there. One minute your kiddo is bouncing off the walls and the next minute, they're super sick. You feel helpless, not to mention all your plans are turned upside down. But luckily for us parents, after thousands of customer requests, the wellness company has just launched their kids' medical emergency kit, which means you no longer have to wait on the medical gatekeeper process or spend late nights in the urgent care clinic. Now you can have six critical medicines at your fingertips for issues like COVID, strep throat, and ear infections. The kids' emergency kit has been hand selected by the wellness company's medical board. This kit makes being a parent a lot easier, and it even comes with an EpiPen for those critical moments when your kid's life might depend on it. And it comes with a 40-page guidebook, which is like having an expert at your fingertips, even when the doctor's office is closed. This kit isn't just a purchase, it's peace of mind and confidence that you are ready for whatever life throws at your family. Don't wait until you're in the middle of a crisis. Order your kid's emergency kit today and be the hero that they need you to be when they need you to be. Go to twc.health slash jpreacts to get your kit today and use code jpreacts for up to $60 off plus free shipping. U.S. residents only. It pays to be an American. Now back to the video. But there's such thing as filings where campaigns have to file and essentially publish what they spent money on. Now, Oprah has a production company called Harpo Productions. And what you see here in this SEC spending report, Harris for president, that's the spender, recipient, Harpo Productions, Oprah's company. That's pretty cool. Disbursement date. October 15th, 2024, $500,000. And then a second one, also on October 15th, for $500,000. Presumably two transactions. I'd imagine there's a limit per transaction. Thus, a million dollars to Oprah's company, Harpo Productions, on that day. So how do you reconcile these realities, Oprah? She says, I was never paid anything, let alone a million dollars from Kamala's campaign to do that interview. And then you have literally receipts saying, oh, you were paid a million dollars by Kamala's campaign. Look, this is your production company, Oprah. How do you reconcile these realities? After Oprah's, I was never paid anything. And then they're like, well, here's the the receipts. Here's Oprah's response to that, attempting to reconcile. And in a second, I'll share with you why I think Oprah's reconciliation is nothing but complete lies. So in response to this tweet, y'all's thinking Oprah's support can be purchased is beyond me. <laughs> So this guy's like, dude, you could never pay Oprah to do anything. You could never pay Oprah to support someone. Here's what Oprah says. Thank you so much for saying this. I want to high five you and give you a hug. Cool. Usually I'm reluctant to respond to rumors in general, but these days I realize if you don't stop a lie, it just gets bigger. Actually, no, lies fizzle out. Uh, the truth gets bigger. But anyway, go, go on, Oprah. I was not paid a dime. My time and energy was my way of supporting the campaign. For the live stream, here's where we start to rationalize it. For the live streaming event in September, my production company, Harpo, was asked to bring in set, lights, cameras, microphones, screw, producers, and every other item necessary, including the benches and chairs we sat on. Thanks for clarifying that, Oprah. To put on a live production. I did not take any personal fee. Okay. However, the people who worked on that production need to be paid and were. End of story. So for less than a one hour interview, Oprah is saying, well, you know, got to pay a million dollars. So here's why that's complete hogwash. I mean, there's some truth in that. Like, yeah, of course, the people in her production company need to be paid. Here's why it's complete hogwash. It is Oprah's company. Oprah's company was paid, but it's not Oprah. Well, take a look at this. Jay Caruso basically summarizes Oprah's logic like this. Oprah claiming the Harris campaign did not pay her $1 million to host a town hall for Kamala, but that it did pay her production company. That amount is next level. It depends on the meaning of the word is, is stuff. So Oprah is saying, well, you paid my company, which means you didn't pay me. It, yeah, in effect, it means you did get paid. That'd be like me. I, I show up somewhere, I do a full weekend of comedy shows, 
And I walk away from that weekend saying, I did that for free. And then you find the receipts like, well, JP, your LLC received money payment from that comedy club. How do you reconcile? Like, well, that that's my LLC. That's my company. That's not me. Most celebrities are not paid directly in their name. They're always paid to a company that they own. Oprah is no different. So the official verdict on Oprah, Oprah, you are a liar. You can be bought and paid for. You have sold your soul probably a while ago. But nonetheless, now you're probably thinking, wow, those devious celebrities only endorsing Kamala because they were paid to. I wonder how much Trump was paying all those celebrities going to his events and saying great things about him. Well, let's check in on what that amount is. And we'll check in with our resident Trump celebrity correspondent, Danica Patrick, former race car driver. Uh, she came out, big supporter of Trump. She was doing so many campaign stops, so many interviews on his behalf, like uh, hosting things, speaking. Uh, incredible. You know, she was pictured with President Trump on his jet, the like 3.30 a.m. the morning of election day. So here is Danica Patrick's take on how much she was paid to endorse President Trump. All the events, rallies, interviews, social posts, I did for free. Actually, spent a fair amount on wardrobe out of her own pocket. I will remind you, there are things that money can't buy. What the will of the people can do is something that can't be bought with money. Now, before we close out, let's check in on some other ridiculous spending numbers. You may have seen this. Wondering who's painting a better picture for America? Campaign spending. Trump raised $381 million. Trump spent $345 million. Trump spent $10.4 million on staff for his campaign. What did Kamala spend? <laughs> Kamala raised $1 billion. Kamala spent $1.37 billion. Kamala spent $582 million on just staff. Ladies and gentlemen, how Kamala ran her campaign is how the government runs anything. How Trump ran his campaign is how a tried and true businessman runs anything. Kamala spent 50 times more on staff than President Trump did for the campaign. Kamala spent overall four times more than President Trump. Kamala raised about three times more money than President Trump, and she lost. Why? Because money can't buy what can only be done by the will of the people. Thus, the will of the people said, we elect President Trump. With that said, my beautiful freedom-loving friend, let me know you, what you think about Kamala's celebrity campaign spending. I look forward to reading that in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you on our next video. But until then, keep exercising the will of you.